What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Now XRP is probably by far one of my favorite positions for popularity and for utility. I believe in XRP so much and the things that they're going to do because of the fact that the government really doesn't, I wouldn't say doesn't believe in it, but doesn't want to fight it, right? The community is so strong within this play. The utility and the potential <clears throat> use to it is so strong for this position as well as the parent company. There's so much upside to this that I'm just like, how can anybody honestly hate this that's not a kind of a uh, poster boy for what the government really is right now and what they want to continue to uh, remain control of? And it really doesn't make sense because <clears throat> what XRP does is, al is allow us to have an easy way to um, transact, a more confident way to transact where we know where our money is going and not necessarily, oh, here, my money is going there, but there's a lot of things that could happen in the back end. You realize that if you're wrong, the bank will come and grab your money as fast as they possibly can. They will tell you, hey, we're taking this out. They won't ask you. They will just tell you right however if the bank is wrong and they decide to give you a bunch of money and you spend that money just like various situations did do <clears throat> you're looked at as the wrong person for spending that money they gave you the money right they put that money accidentally into your bank account they should see all of those consequences and go okay we lost it right however if we give them more money like we we lost that money. We can't go, oh, you know what? You need to give us that money back. No, we made the mistake. Why can't they live up to that mistake? It's because banks are held at this higher standard and um, they're, they are not held accountable to, um, to anything that they do. If it's wrong, just especially within the, the whole uh, real estate crisis and what happened there, right? The housing bubble, that was a, a big ordeal and banks got bailed out. Why? in the world is anybody looking to partner or be happy with the way that banks really run things as of right now? <clears throat> it's something that works for our economy in a way, but if they make a wrong decision, they get bailed out. If we make a wrong decision, we don't. And in that process as well, when they did get bailed out, we didn't. As, as people that own houses and own property, we didn't get bailed out. Now, I didn't own property at that time. I was still in, in school, but you know what I mean. If another situation happens like that again, it'll be the same thing over and over again. They look to get bailed out because that's where all the money flows through. Now, XRP, in my opinion, is one of those plays that really fights kind of against that, fights traditional banking in a large way. And honestly, crypto in general really fights traditional, traditional banking in a large way. So when I talk about XRP being worth a lot more than people think, I truly mean that. I think it has value in itself, even at the price level that it's at, it's valuable, right? Just because let's say, um, let's say you have something that has sentimental value, right, to you, it's valuable to you. It may not be valuable to other people, but it's valuable to you. Now, XRP is not really in comparison with that, but if you look at the value of what it is and say, oh, it's 60 cents, even if it is, even if it does stay at 60 cents, it's still hella val valuable for the entire, um, the U.S., the entire world, honestly. However, I don't believe that that's the case. It's going to stay at 60 cents or um, only go to a dollar. I believe it's going to go a lot further than that and have the value because there's only a certain amount that is out there and available. So again, we're going to get into a little bit more of the detail as to why I believe XRP is uh, insanely valuable and uh, why it is a sleeping giant. You may look at it as a um, maybe it's, it's already that giant it's not sleeping. It's just, you know, making some moves here, some slow moves, but I think it is a sleeping giant, especially how things have been functioning. And we'll talk about that guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, 
Make sure you check out my link for Patreon, my link for Twitter, and uh, my link for uh, Margex. If you guys want to trade XRP up to a 50x leverage, you can trade on Margex. You can also trade as little as a 5x leverage over on that platform. Um, it's a great platform. I've been utilizing it for quite some time and been having um, some profits with it as well. A little bit of a struggle on the copy trading side of things, but I have it kind of figured out and where I want to go, uh, how I want to obviously get back to break even there. My main position that I, I bought, I've made over or close to $30,000 in XRP and have been able to capture a crazy amount of XRP because of Marjack. So I'm really grateful for what they have been able to do for me. <clears throat> now, um, let's talk about, again, that will be at the top of the description if you guys want to. Let's talk about um, XRP really quick. Because if we look at where XRP is right now, price-wise, it's nothing exciting, right? It is at 57 cents. <clears throat> We're seeing it at a $32 billion market cap with $1 billion worth of volume. Not really exciting because that's not really much of a change. Well, what do you think a sleeping giant is? Do you think a sleeping giant will show you when they're awake? No, it, it's, it's a sleeping giant for a reason. Like it's sleeping and it's going to have that massive uptick when we see all things kind of go this way towards cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency adoption. Um, right now you have a little bit more of a positive uh, outlook on it when it comes to them uh, Ripple paying 125 million and being free of that, how you still have this, um, you know, kind of storm cloud overhead though that the SEC could um, appeal everything, XRP as, a, as not a security, as well as looking at uh, how much they paid or how much they're, um, you know, kind of uh, forced to pay, which is $125 million. They want a Ripple to pay $2 billion, which I don't think is, um, you know, something that should happen. I think it should be less than even $125 million, but Ripple is willing to ac accept that. Um, but the reason why I say this is a sleeping giant is because when you look at all history, you know, you see the growth that has happened there, but you haven't really seen that kind of uh, progression that you would see with, let's say, Bitcoin. If you go and compare um, this with uh, a Bitcoin, you're going to see the progression, right? The progression of where this was, uh, increase, decrease down here. You're seeing it push up, absolutely jumped up to, you know, up, uh, I don't even know how much that is. What is it, 50, 57,000 percent or something? So you're seeing that, you know, increase from there. Um, decrease down and then it increases again but the gradual uh, movement is an uptick you're not seeing that with xrp the blue line that's xrp is flat it is something that is is honestly sleeping and the reason why we haven't seen this uptick here in 2021 like we did with everything else is because of the fact that xrp was being or ripple and xrp was being sued and as they're being sued that's what created that sleeping giant you don't have the opportunities that every other cryptocurrency has, especially one as popular, as big, as more impactful as XRP. You don't have that gradual movement up and you don't have those partnerships that you can develop. You try and develop as much as you can, but most people will be like, ah, you're in active litigation. I'm not going to be a part of that, right? Um, until you get out of that, we're going to stay where we are. And then when you get out of it, we'll see how things flow. Um, now they're finally out of it. And again, they still have the um, the possibility of being back in it, um, which does still scare people, but you are seeing some partnerships that are happening. So XRP is truly a sleeping giant. It's at a low price as of right now, 57 cents. I believe it should be worth, in my opinion, and many other opinions, should be worth trillions of dollars. I think it should be worth one to $10 trillion. And that's a large range, but... Uh, my short-term range or shorter-term range is one to five. I'm looking to see it hit that $1 trillion mark and then obviously push up and be worth more than Bitcoin. Um, and maybe it'll be to a point where it's right up on Ethereum's heel, surpasses here, Ethereum. You'll see uh, Bitcoin that does rise in value based on you know the scarcity and everything that's happening there. And we'll see that at like 300, 400,000 um, or something, 500,000, whatever the price may be. But we're seeing that at multiple trillions of dollars, it'll get up to a $5 trillion market cap, and then XRP will finally shift, will finally uh, shift gears and flip Bitcoin, in my opinion, just based on the use that XRP will have besides being a store of value for, um, you know, Bitcoin, right? If you're comparing the two, 
I feel like XRP is more usable in the real world and using digital assets to, um, you know, buy things and, and, um, you know, have that standard way of, of purchasing and, and going through standard transactions. Um, and even uh, country by country transactions, right? Various banks that are in what feel like different worlds, but easily communicative, uh, communi communicative, that's the word I was looking for, communicative between the um, two banks, the two worlds, right? Does that make sense? Uh, anyways, let me know what you think about XRP. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm gonna get out of here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.